What's going on everybody? My name is Mario. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And in today's video, we're going to talk about something that we got going on in this channel going forward and that is Mistake Mondays. The mistake that I'm going to talk about today that I've made in the past was purchase a bunch of cameras but no lighting. So let's talk about that. So the mistake that I've made in the past was buy a lot of new cameras. Every time a new camera will come out, oh this one has 4K, this one has 6K, this one has 8K. I will keep jumping and keep buying that new camera and not buy any lighting. And the mistake that I was making was, yeah, I was getting great quality, I was getting better quality every single time, but all my videos still stayed the same. And what I mean by that is, I'm sure we all heard it as a creator, a lot of people tell us lighting makes everything, lighting makes everything. And a lot of the time when we're starting off, we tend to brush all that out because, you know, we're so caught up with, oh, we want 4K, we want 6K, but, Honestly guys, uh, about a year ago, I, it came to my head that yes, lighting does do everything. The camera can only do so much. The camera is going to give you quality, but the lighting itself is going to give you everything. If you guys watch my videos, hopefully I'm dropping some B-roll while I'm talking right now. But the way lighting can do for your videos is separate your subjects. So if you're shooting someone and you want the background to be red, you want my face to be blue or the subject, whatever, you're able to do that with lighting. With the camera, what can you do realistically that other cameras can't do? The camera is just going to capture what you're trying to film, but the lighting is going to do so much for you. So the mistake that I've made in the past was just thinking this camera is going to do it all. But realistically, if you're shooting in the worst case scenario, a boring room, a boring house, then the camera is not going to capture anything beautiful because it's just a boring house, a boring place. But if you guys were to invest in lighting, you're able to make so much. Now you're able to color the background or you're able to do, you know, separations. You're able to do so much with lighting that it's just gonna enhance the visual, your image, and it's just gonna give you a professional, beautiful look. If you guys are wondering how I go about color grading, a lot of you guys have asked me in the past, well, realistically, lighting allows me to color grade my videos to what you guys have been seeing. Um, lighting is gonna allow me to just, you know, put the color how I want it and it's in post, I'm just gonna correct it. But for the most part, all my colors and lighting is done on set. It's not done in post. In post, you can only do so much in color grading. So your color grading is definitely gonna step up a level if you guys decide to buy and invest in lighting. So in this video overall, that's one of the mistakes that I've made. I feel like I could have made a lot of steps forward if I would have chose lights. But of course for me, myself, a lot of us that we start off, we, cho we tend to go with cameras because we get so fun with the, with the specs that the camera brings out. But no, just remember lighting is going to make your video, the camera is not, lenses as well, but you know, lighting is overall key and it is always going to be key. So just know that. That's it for today's video. If you guys like this video, drop it a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in a few days. Peace out, guys.